So we're entering the busy Christmas period, which means busy shops, busy pubs and cold weather. And for footballers, it's a busy time too, with a packed Christmas schedule, with games being played throughout the festive period, as Premier League clubs prepare for four games over around two weeks, because the Christmas fixtures seem to be dragged out even longer than normal nowadays to appease the television companies. So today we're asking the question, should we have a winter break in the Premier League? Let's look at the reasons both for and against. Starting with the reasons against a winter break, it's traditional. Just like you've got to put up a Christmas tree and watch crappy films, the busy Premier League period over Christmas is just tradition nowadays, especially for supporters, who I'm sure would much rather be at the match than dragging their heels around Marks and Spencers looking for some tripe that's got 40% off. The Boxing Day games are one of the first things you look for when the fixtures come out, usually just behind the opening and final day and any potential derbies you might have. To scrap the games over Christmas and have them played later on in the season would be an alien concept for some fans who would be lost during their week off work without having about 20 matches to look forward to. On top of the traditional aspect, it adds to the excitement of the Premier League and the spectacle it is today as we know it. We all hear about how the Premier League is the most exciting league in the world and while that's up for debate, you can't deny that the games over Christmas are a time that some real shocks could come out with some of the Premier League's elite slipping up against the lesser teams due to various changes to starting 11s, be it because of injury, fatigue or suspension because there are still players who make sure they've got enough yellow cards to guarantee they'll get Boxing Day off. The Premier League seems to be losing its unpredictability, with the gulf between the top clubs and everyone else seeming to grow every season, and taking away the Christmas fixtures would only help this gap grow, as the fresher and fitter elite clubs will be able to avoid any potential banana skins due to playing too much. And now for the reasons for a winter break. Well for starters, it clearly works across Europe. Winter breaks are common in Spain, Germany, France and Italy just to name a few, and even Scotland have a winter break nowadays. Yet for some reason, the Premier League has remained true to its roots and play on during the cold December, despite sub-zero temperatures, while their European counterparts sit cosy in front of the fire, resting their weary bones ahead of the second half of the season. The winter break is something that always gets debated ahead of an international tournament, as there's always the argument that the English players are too tired by the time the tournament comes around because they've never had a break during the season like their opponents have, who've had a chance to recharge their batteries and come out firing the second half of the season in preparation for the World Cup or European Championships. Now you could argue that this is all bollocks because you've got to play everyone at some point, so what does it really matter? But the evidence is there for all to see, because England look lethargic at every tournament nowadays. It's not just the English players who suffer too, we often see some of the Premier League's foreign imports suffer during the winter months because they've never actually had to play so much football during this period, meaning they're burnt out during the most important months of the season. It's also an issue for managers who are new to English football, who have a tough job learning how to manage players' fitness levels during the busy period. The lack of a winter break also has an impact on the FA Cup, because as soon as the multiple Premier League games come to an end, we get ready for the third round of the FA Cup, where a lot of teams will make multiple changes to their starting lineup because the league is their priority, almost making a mockery of one of the most famous and historic tournaments in the history of football. If there was a winter break, then teams might be able to put out a stronger team in the third round of the FA Cup and thus show it the respect it deserves. So do you think we should have a winter break here in England? And if so, when would the extra fixtures be played? Should the season start earlier? Should we just add a few extra rounds of midweek action? Or are the games over Christmas fine? And would it just be better if there was less of them? Let us know your thoughts in the comments and have a vote using the poll in the top right corner. So there it is. We looked at the reasons both for and against having a winter break here in England. Don't forget to have your say and thanks for watching. And for those Newcastle fans out there, please check out our new channel, Geordie Boot Boys, where you'll be able to find content solely about the Magpies, such as historical pieces and those all-important fan interviews.